Hey guys, my name is Zach and I'm the Director of Production and Technology here at Newwalk. And I just wanted to take a second and welcome you to our team. We are so excited to have you. And as a volunteer, a production volunteer, you play such a vital role in our services here every single weekend by creating an environment for our community to come into the building and to experience uh, the love of Jesus. And ultimately, our goal is, is that um, unbelievers will come into our doors and accept Christ and further his kingdom. Um, so we are so excited to have you and along with this journey and want to give you a quick overview of our team so you can kind of have a quick understanding of our different roles and positions and some of the things that we do. The most entry level position we have is, is a, a rather new one and that would be our um, tripod dolly. And uh, it's just a simple position where you're moving a camera back and forth on a track um, during worship. And so it's a really simple position and um, a great way to get into the door and, and start it here in production. Our next position is our tripod cameras. We have two of those. We have camera one right behind me and on the other side of the booth is camera two. And that is a guided position. Um, they are taking instruction from the director in the video suite, which we call the truck. And um, they're getting various shots of the band on stage and our worship leader. Uh, they're tracking Pastor Gary during his sermon and um, really getting the key shots uh, for our video feed and our iMag in the room. And then the next camera position would be our Romer camera. And they're on stage. Um, um, literally walking around getting close-up shots of the band a little more action shots um, they have the more creative feel and it takes a little more of an eye to get the framing and get the shots that the director is looking for and then back here in the truck we have two positions um, the most entry level position back here is our our pro presenter operator um, and this is the person that is selecting the graphics that go on screen now during worship our lyrics are automated however it's technology and sometimes things fail. And so when that does happen, um, our pro presenter operator needs to be on standby and ready to uh, advance those slides along with the music. So this is a posi position that um, requires focus, attention to detail, and, um, and knowing the music just in case they have to follow along. Um, and then when it comes time for, for Gary's sermon, as Pastor Gary is preaching, and need to be able to follow along with his sermon notes, which sometimes can be a little more challenging than others, uh, but still they need to be paying attention and able to um, advance Pastor Gary's slides so that the congregation can follow along. And right next to Pro Presenter is uh, this position, and this is our director switcher. Now, this is two positions that we combined into one. Uh, in a normal broadcast environment, you'd have a director who is uh, sitting behind the video suite um, looking over the multi-view and seeing the shots that's coming in and actually calling for certain shots to take. And then you would have the switcher who is sitting at the physical controls and taking those shots. Now, we don't have that capacity, so we have a director switcher. That means that the person that is sitting in this chair uh, has to watch all the shots coming in on the multi-view. Um, they have to coach our camera operators to help them get the shots that they need. And then they have to physically take those shots on the controls. So this is a leader level position. Uh, that means that the person here has to have the humility to help coach camera operators uh, to, to get the shots they need. Sometimes train them um, in, in, in that role along with the, the guidelines that your production leaders have set forth. Um, and they, they need to be able to do so in a way that's uplifting and encouraging always striving for excellence within uh, our camera operators. And so therefore, we ask that in this position that people have served first on uh, a tripod camera or um, with Romer and have that understanding of what it takes to serve in that capacity before coming into the truck and um, operating as a director switcher. And then before we move into the booth, we have one more position that serves backstage, and that is our stage manager. Now, this position uh, is, is backstage working with the band and working with Pastor Gary, helping them get on and off stage uh, safely and effectively. So if um, Pastor Gary has props or bring, uh, is bringing out a table for his iPad with sermon notes, uh, they help get all that stuff on and off stage. Or if there's mic stands that have to get out of the way during a transition, 
um, they're helping get all of that out of the way as well. So they make sure that all of our transitions on stage are smooth and safe and um, that everything that happens behind the scenes, behind the curtains is done in a right manner. Next, we move into the booth. Um, we have three positions in the booth and the first is our lighting operator. Now, this isn't necessarily the person that is programming lights uh, from week to week. Um, and if that's something you wanna do, come talk to us that we might have the potential to, to train you in that down the road. However, um, this person is similar to our pro presenter operator and that they are following along um, with pre-programmed cues. Uh, so it is very important that our lighting operators know the music from week to week, that they're um, listening to the music before the weekend so that they can advance our lighting cues um, on time. And it, it's kind of important too that they have a, a understanding of music. And I'm not saying in-depth understanding of music theory, but that they understand rhythm because some of our lighting cues are time-based. And so if that's not hit on beat with the music, then some of those timing effects are off for the remainder of several cues. Um, so there is a certain level of, of musicality to the lighting. The next position in the booth is our audio engineer. And um, this obviously is a very important role. And uh, we are looking for audio volunteers on an audition basis. So um, if you have a, a background in audio, if, if you are comfortable and want to serve in that realm, let us know and we will audition you. We'll, we'll bring you in, we'll give you some tracks and an hour to, to work with them and build a mix and then we'll listen to it and, and audition you in that way. Now, if you have a background in audio but you're not quite ready to audition yet or you say, I've not worked with audio at this level before, um, then again, still come talk to us. Uh, we might be willing to help train you and to help work up to that level. Um, now, we might not throw you at weekend audio right away, but um, perhaps you serve in CR for a bit and you get a chance to you know, mix some audio in there or then step up into youth and mix some audio there. Uh, we have ways to work up to the weekend. And so we are looking for audio volunteers. If you have a background in that, please come talk to us and we'd love to get you involved in that way. The last position that we have in our booth is the service producer. And now this is for a high level volunteer or staff. Um, this person is the big eyes in the room. Um, they're ultimately in charge of making decisions on stage, uh, in video. Um, if they see something that needs to be changed, they can make that call. Um, they also are the liaison between production and Pastor Gary. Uh, they're the liaison between kids and production. Um, so again, this is for a, a high level leader. And um, if this is something you're interested in, talk to us. Uh, we will have you fill out a leader app and um, then we'll get you involved as a service producer and start training up for that. Now I will say that I would love for this person to have gone and have a solid understanding of almost every single position in the room. The only exception might be audio. But other than that, I would love for them to have experience serving in all other capacities before they are stepping into a service producer role. Um, I think it's important to have that understanding, to be able to make those decisions in those calls and to be um, have a solid understanding of our production values, um, our, our production vision and standards uh, before we just throw somebody into that role. But if that's you and you say, yeah, I've got all that, then come talk to us and um, we'll get you plugged in and start and trained up as a service producer. Finally, we have the production manager. Now, this is a staff only position. Um, this is the person that has uh, ultimate authority of everything in the building. So for any given weekend, if something happens in kids, something happens in the cafe, if there's systems failure in the auditorium, then that is the person that's going to be troubleshooting those things and, and trying to fix them. And they ultimately have the, the authority over all things production for that given weekend. Again, we just wanna say thank you for, for joining production. We are so excited to have you. Um, even if you're, you're not serving some weekend, please come on up, uh, give us a handshake, a fist bump, whatever. Um, we cannot wait to get to know you more and, and are 100% excited to serve alongside of you.